the dentist, your primary care dental provider. A dentist has many responsibilities, including the diagnosis, treatment, care and management of your overall oral health. But there are so many different types of treatments or not. And fillings, periodontal care, root canal treatments, crowns and bridges are just some of the services that dentists provide among several others. But what are the different specialties and how do dental students think about them? Hi guys, it's me David from Romaniac and today I'm making my tier list about dental specialities. I will not go into much detail because I think mainly the people that are watching are people who may consider studying or think about um, studying in the future. Of course everyone has his own opinion but this is how I think about it right now in my fourth year of studies. In general I think it's a good thing that we have specialists for everything so in the end we can reach a high level of every type of treatment. The first uh, speciality in dentistry that I'm talking about is pediatric dentistry. Um, pediatric dentistry is about treating children. Um, it is a specialty that is a lot of fun, I think. It can be very uh, exhausting if kids have uh, some fears. It's very important because their emotions towards going to the dentist are laid. So the most people I met while working in the dental cabinet that had fears had them cause of bad um, treatments in the childhood. So I think it's a nice specialty. It's not for me. I like treating children, but I could not imagine doing it the whole day. So that's why for me, that's in the middle. I give it a B and yeah. Moving on to the next one, it's periodontal dentistry. Periodontal dentistry is about the diseases and pathologies in the supportive tissue, gum diseases, about the bone that is supporting the tooth. This one in general, I think is very specific. Again, I couldn't imagine doing it a lot. I also yeah, assisted some time. Again, this is something I would give it a C because I could not imagine doing that full time or just specialize on it. That's why I give it a C. So let's move on to endodontics. Endodontics, and I just have to tell you guys, I was working for the last four years in a dental cabinet always in my vacation like this was my only job in the last years and every time that we prepared the room with those uh, anodontic needles and all the stuff that you need for it i could i just hate it i don't like doing it at all and uh, by next year we will um, have the subject in university maybe it will change i will change my mind after having some treatments but right now I cannot imagine doing it and I like more the creative side of dentistry and cannot imagine just doing endodontal uh, endodontal treatments the whole day so for me that's a D I don't like it I don't know why yeah that's how I think right now about it the next one is orthodontics it's for me a completely different area of dentistry again a lot of work with children it's a very nice job I think it's good paid and orthodontics yeah you can help some people with their stigmas. Secondly, it's very important for the right occlusion, which is oftentimes underestimated. So it takes a lot of knowledge to become a good orthodontist. I think it's a nice speciality. I would put it into B. The next one is oral pathology. Oral pathology, like the name says already, it's about the oral diseases. This one I never enjoyed in medical school going through the diseases um, and pathologies in general so i will not enjoy even go more into detail in pathologies inside the oral cavity that's why for me it's straight at d and that's it prosthodontics so prosthodontics is about maintaining the function of the oral cavity so it's about treating the patients with bridges with crowns also a lot about aesthetics this is a thing that is a lot practiced here in romania and like a lot of people know uh, in turkey so the prosthodontists here are more focused towards this aesthetical side and then concentrating on also the occlusal outcome of the treatments and i think this is something that is very important i could imagine that Again, not full-time, so that's nothing for me. Prosthodontics, for me, um, A. Yeah, so um, I would love to do it, but more as a general dentist. 
So moving on to the next speciality, it's dental radiology. We had it starting from fourth year in Romania and we are finally talking about it. We learn how to read it. You see so many cases while studying and always of course also the x-ray and you're always confused like how do doctors know yeah what's going on in this wild picture in the end yeah you of course you can you know uh, what tooth is which one but in the end if a lot of uh, teeth had been extracted or uh, are missing you are confused and yeah it helps a lot it's a nice subject i enjoyed every single lab lesson that we had practicing it it's a nice skill i think that's something you can do next to a general dentist just learning how to read uh, even better an x-ray yeah and that's something you can just do privately but i would not be wanting to do it full time so for me that's a b then moving on to the next one it's the oral uh, and maxillofacial surgeon very very nice speciality i would go for this one right now with my knowledge that i have till now like i never know it can change in the next years or while even practicing it it can be like yeah i don't uh, feel so comfortable so you move on specialize in a different direction but for now that's where i start being interested yeah like being in a course room suddenly boom like a surgical case comes up and i'm like oh yeah i want to know more about it that's something i can definitely imagine i can directly put it into super something why i wouldn't do the maxillofacial surgeon is that this is quite a difficult job a lot of pressure when you have for example the the facial trauma after accidents and stuff my biggest respect to the people who have the knowledge and the skill to work in this department for me i think it would be too much and secondly it's not the kind of job i want to do that i imagine doing after the studies i want to be and now we i directly move into the next topic i can imagine being just a general dentist and being an oral surgeon like implantology yeah doing like basic surgeries so this is also for me in the super rank because um yeah i think what i like about being just a general dentist you know your patient you build a relation to them with a lot of specialities you don't get to know your patient that much like you you just um, got them sent over by a colleague or you're working in a clinic and that's what i like about being a general dentist and specialize on oral surgery so just um doing the they are simple in the end they are not, also not simple but doing like the basic uh, surgeries doing some implants that's what i uh, right now can imagine doing and that's my most favorite topic in university right now yeah so that's my tier list if you have a look some stuff i can imagine doing some stuff i can definitely not imagine and like yeah so this was my tier list about dental specialities and write in the comments what you think what would you prefer to do or what are you right now preferring what are your plans for future after your dental studies just let us know we are very interested in that so give it a like if you enjoyed the video and uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more content of us if you want to study dentistry or medicine there is the link to our website or our instagram just message us fill out one of the contact forms or message us in the dms and we will get back to you as soon as possible la revedere and ciao